unfortunately I have to record this video again uh, because OBS glitched nothing was showing on my screen but this basically this is the reorder list problem we're still dealing with uh, reversing the reversing a linked list pattern and the problem here is you want to fold the linked list in half like this kind of so these examples show what is what's up so you, from the middle of the link list fold it in half so six eight seven becomes six seven eight uh this becomes nine followed by two followed by eight sorry nine followed by two followed by zero followed by eight um again from this middle right you move it this way so five follows one five follow five comes after one and four stays uh comes after two um I hope this makes sense. So you're folding, you're like taking the linked list from the center and folding it in half and interspersing, if that's a word, uh, the nodes from the rotated linked, the, from the rotated half. Um, so that's what's happening here. Eight will come here, five will come here, one will go there. It's fairly straightforward. Uh, it was a very short video to record, so I'm gonna just, I figured I'd go through it again. And educative a day keeps unemployment away right or it helps you get to the moon um, since oh, see, well the recording of these videos can help you get to the moon basically uh, but I digress uh, the solution so we want to find the middle of the link list first that's the first step of the solution we've done this before with fast and slow pointers and basically you jump the fast pointer for every two steps the fast pointer makes you move the slow pointer once and by the time you get to the end of the list the slow pointer will be at the middle of the linked list. Second, you want to reverse the second part of the linked list. So we have a simple reversing a linked list problem. We've covered this in a previous video. You can go back and check under the fast and slow pointer where you find the middle of a linked list. Then you want to reverse a linked list, which we did, I think, what, three, four videos ago? Uh, same, same old, same old standard reversing a linked list solution. And then this is the new part. We merge the two lists. And so you're just swapping out what things are pointing to you have something pointed at the head of the original list and something pointed at the head of the reverse list uh, this is still connected because we didn't disconnect them and what you're going to do is point the first to the second and point what the second is pointing to to what the first was pointing to before and if you're not confused enough by that it kind of looks like this so first now points to six six now points to two right and you just keep going and then we move on to two. Two now points to five. Five now points to three. Right? Two points to five. Five points to three. Then we move on. And then we can see that we're at the end of the list, pretty much. And we're done. And now it's time to step through the solution. Let's do that real quick. Make this big for everybody. Uh-huh. So we just passed the head of the link list. If it's no return. So first of all, find the middle of the link list. We've done this before. This is how to do that. Then slow is now becomes the head of the second part of the list. So six in this instance uh, becomes uh, slow. And then we we'll point it to current because we want to reverse this link list. And that's what we're doing here. We're flipping uh, four, five, six to six, five, four. I'm breaking the list in two like this, pretty much. Then we're merging the two. So we have these two lists over here and we are making them this thing and to do that we use this piece of code right here this is what does that we need just these two temporary variables so what was what the first thing was pointed to next we store it here second was pointed to here we store it here make the first next equal to second um this is how we move we move the pointer forward how we step for first forward point it to temp uh similarly for the second make it point to uh what the first used to point to um just similar to what happened here at this step so six needs to point to two right because first at first is initially is pointing to two uh so that's what that does here and then lastly uh we use this to move forward so move forward move to what this was pointing to prior and once you're done with that return ahead say fini now, these three parts of the code are O of N individually. We know this is O of N from the previous videos. We know this is O of N as well. And this pretty much looks like O of N because you're only looking through the list. Uh, not even, it's not even up to O of N. It's O of like N over 2. 
Uh, so in total, you'd have like O of two and a half N, but then it's a constant factor in front of O. So the time complexity for this will be O of N, linear time. And then the space complexity will be O of one, because no matter how big the linked list increases in size, we don't create any more variables than we already have. And that's the end of the story. Thank you so much. I hope this turns out okay, because I do not want to record this again. See you next time.